Have you ever wanted to visit Soledad Canyon Thousand Trails? Well, that's what we're fixing to show you. Hey y'all, I'm Cole. And I'm Dawn. And we're younger every day. So basically we bought a fifth wheel, sold almost everything we had in Texas, packed up the kids and the dog, and headed west. Now I'm going to school and we're loving this crazy life. On this channel we take you on amazing adventures, do product reviews, share tips and tricks for RV living, and do RV park reviews just like this one. So if you're new here, click subscribe to join the Younger Gang, and don't forget to ring the bell so you never miss out on any of the fun. And if you haven't seen some of our other videos, you can click right up here to get all caught up. Today, we are sharing with you our experience at Soledad Canyon Thousand Trails, which is a pretty cool park. I really like it. Yeah, we have really enjoyed being here. We've actually been here several times and we always enjoy coming back. First of all, this place is so pretty. Like you go down into the canyon in the middle of all this gorgeousness all around you. Uh, also close to here is like Santa Clarita, which is beautiful. If you like Six Flags, there's a Six Flags there. You said you can't wait. What can you not wait for? This, this whole thing. What is this thing? I don't know what it's called. Six Flags something? Yeah, Six Flags something. Six Flags Magic Mountain. I think. Yeah, I think. Close to the beaches and all that kind of fun stuff. It's a really cool place to stay. It is out in the middle of nothing. Thing. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of stuff right around there. If you're gonna go do laundry and that kind of thing, you're gonna have to go probably into Santa Clarita or yeah. Palmdale, Lancaster. We would highly, highly recommend Santa Clarita over Palmdale, Lancaster. That's just us. Yeah. Uh, and everybody else we've talked to who's been to Palmdale, Lancaster. Uh, but some... Santa Clarita is really cool. Yeah. There were a couple good places to eat yeah. in uh, Palmdale, Lancaster, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I took the truck to a, a, a dealership yeah. there to get some work done, so there's some That's good true. things there. So there's stuff to do. But we prefer the Santa Clarita area for what we were going to do. Yeah, and it's stuff. only a couple hours like from Santa Monica mm -hmm. and San Buenaventura and there's really cool stuff to do like uh, Vasquez Rocks. Mm -hmm. um, Mormon Rocks. Mormon Rocks is right there. Yeah, yeah. so it's a really cool it's... place to find unique, really fun things to do. Lots of outdoorsy stuff. Not very far from Wrightwood either. If you haven't seen our trip to Wrightwood, you can click right up there to check it out. Uh, we did visit it when it was snowing. That was cool. That was fun. The, uh, you know, Acton is where this is, Acton, California, and it's just on the north side of the Angeles National Forest from LA. So it's pretty close to LA, but it is about an hour and a half to two hour drive to LA from yeah. there, just because you have to drive all the way around the mountains in traffic. As far as the park and the amenities there, it's huge, first of all. It is really absolutely massive. gigantic. I'm pretty sure they said, like, on major holidays and stuff, you get up to, I think they said, it, like, 5,000 people. Yeah. Like, it's a big, big place. Yeah. But it's it's nice. Like, the mm -hmm. area we like to stay in is the 50 amp area, which is, uh, we have been to B. Mm-hmm the B section, that's the part we kind of like. But there are lots of different places if you want to be a little bit more secluded off the main road away from the train. The spots themselves are pretty basic. They're kind of yeah. like, they're mostly dirt spots and the sewer connections are a little old, so don't expect to like screw your sewer fitting in. It's just gonna kind of stick in there. You need a donut to keep it airtight. And uh, you know, sometimes they have sites where they mark it off and say, hey, the sewer's not working here or whatever, but we really didn't have any problems there. Mm -mm. Um, you know, the power was good. I mean, if they, if they cut power off or something, they kind of give you some notice or something. They even came around one day telling us some things were going on. So that was good. There are lots of trees, so it kind of feels like you're out yeah, in nature in a little woods. more than yeah. a normal RV <laughs> park might. I like it. The pedestals are good. We never had a problem. We found 50 amp sites every time we've been to Soledad. And they also have 30 amp available. They also have water only sites. And so, you know, they really have something for everybody. We've seen tent campers all the way up to the big rigs. So many. We were actually there on Labor, Labor Day, Day and it was crazy. This place has gotten crazy busy for Labor Day. So I thought we might just drive around and get a little footage of it. Not only are there lots of RVs, but there are a ton of people tent camping. I mean, these sites have got to have something like four to six cars per site. The average is probably three on the uh, tent cam tents and you can see all the tents set up it was fun they have they have lots of fun activities oh there. yeah we were the there kids. for easter they had really cool stuff mm -hmm. they just have they have cool stuff yeah they do they, a really good job planning out things and having activities and all that kind of stuff we were there for the luau with 
like oh, Hawaiian yeah. performers and mm -hmm. you know they had hula dancers and then they also had a guy who did like the torch spinning it was really cool the kids loved it and had a good time one of the really cool things about it is the pool oh yeah it's massive there are two pools there a regular one that used to be the adult pool now mm -hmm. the kids are allowed there too and then the family pool is just massive amazing. yeah just thought we'd get a little video of the pool so you could see it in all its glory. It's 300,000 gallons of well water, meaning the water is typically 65 degrees because it comes straight out of the ground. And it doesn't matter if it's 120 degrees here, they told me the pool does not warm up at all. So pretty much every time we've been, it's like jumping into an ice water bath or an ice water pool. But that's okay, it's a nice hot day today. It got up over 100, so we're gonna go for a swim and I'm going to bring this along so I can jump in with it. Easiest to just jump right in rather than trying to ease into it. So here we go. Oh yeah, much easier. There's a nice uh, water part, or uh, what is that called? Splash pad for the kids. It's nothing super fancy, but it is certainly good enough for the kids. Our kids haven't really done much with it because there's always a nice breeze blowing. So even though it's 100 degrees, you get in a splash pad and get a little water on you, it feels kind of chilly. Anyway, here's the pool. Half of it is uh, goes down to about three and a half feet deep. The other half goes down to about five and a half feet deep. I think Dawn told me that this is the largest privately owned pool in California. And uh, it's amazing. It's really pretty. I wish it were a little bit warmer. You need me to get you, well jump into me. Jump, grab my hand and jump in. Ready? Jump! <laughs> right across from the pool is the family lodge and also the store and I know one of the times we went the lodge was open but another time they were re remodeling. remodeling it and the store was under construction at one point so they've been doing a lot of work yeah, yeah and it's they're making it really nice I mean mm -hmm. This used to be, from what I hear from some of the, the people we've met who are older members or more longtime members, it used to be the flagship Thousand Trails Park. Oh yeah, I didn't know Yeah, that. and so <laughs> they, yeah, they told me that, uh, who was it? Cowboy, famous cowboy guy that I love growing up. Roy Rogers and Gene Autry used to do Thousand Trails ads really? here in Soledad. <laughs> yeah, funny. and the grass was just rolling green grass everywhere and everything. And so cool. they're, they're trying to kind of get it reestablished, I think. It has some cool kind of nostalgia or something, I guess. Yeah, it's nice to hear the coyotes howling. That's fun to yeah, me. Yeah, it's cool. So they have a lot of neat things. The only thing I'll say is if you want cell reception, you probably need a booster or yeah. something. I've heard the back section has better cell service. Maybe so. But we We've didn't want to stay back in there. B, but yeah, the cell service, it depends on which spot you get in. It can be a little spotty, but there's places, uh, if you go just out of the park into Acton itself, mm -hmm. you can go find a Wi-Fi up there. Yeah, McDonald's or library or whatever. There's a library, yeah. And, and to be honest, we every time we've been, we've been able to get enough cell service to like stream movies and shows or whatever. Yeah, yeah it's not horrible. Yeah. It's a, a lot for like trying to upload videos yeah, and that business, kind of stuff working that we needed to do. But you know, it has cell service, just yeah. not stellar. But people do have the, they have the boosters yeah, on lots, lots of, of rigs. So and stuff like that. Yeah, that's a good point. Let's talk about laundry. Let's talk about laundry. We did laundry there a number of times. We did. They have several different laundry rooms. One is in the same area as the little store across mm -hmm. from the pool. And then they've got another one down by the Formerly adult Formerly lodge. Formerly adult lodge mm -hmm. that now kids are allowed into. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I think there, may, I think there's one in the other part too, that back part. In the yeah, I think there whatever. is. Yeah. One thing you want to do want to be aware of is if it's like going to be rainy, which I realize this is Southern California, not something that you would really expect it to rain a lot, but it does. Mm -hmm. And we were actually there, and one of the roads had been washed out, and then uh, because it rained so much in one day. It blocked off the entrance to one of the sections and they had to wait a few hours, I think, before mm -hmm. they could get to their rigs. But if you stay in the front section, you're fine. It's no problem. <laughs> Speaking of flooding, the road that connects the front section and the back section in the park is washed out. And yeah, you have to go around. They, there's some kind of ecological thing. They can't rebuild it or something. Some animals there's or something. The, yeah, some yeah. animal that's protected or whatever yeah. that's in there. So you have to go on the outside. But 
while we were there, there was a lady at this at the lodge, right? She came back yeah. from the store getting some medicine for her sick kid, and while she was gone, the river started flooding, and she couldn't get back to the back section to get back to her sick kid. So, gotta watch out for that. I kind of recommend staying in the front, although we yeah. have friends that really enjoy the back yeah. section. Yeah. So they suggested that we go back there. They really enjoyed it. So if you're there when there's no rain in the forecast, go for it. Yep. There are lots of families I think that stay in the back part. So I want to mention that they do have a really cool playground over by the pool, over by the big pool. Mm -hmm. The kids loved going out there. It's just a big like green wooded field area. I don't even know. It's not a field. It's like a glen, you know, and <laughs> the little duck pond back there. Mm -hmm. And there's also a miniature golf course that the kids enjoyed. It's a lot of fun. And that's one of the things that's super fun about Thousand Trails is most of the parks are going to have miniature golf for free, things you can check out for tennis or basketball or pick, what's pickleball. pickleball. I've that's never played it. but that I had never heard of until we got to Thousand Trails. Yep, so. pickleball's a big thing. So, <laughs> or a small thing. <laughs> you just play, because you play it on a tennis court, but it's like a smaller than a tennis court. Anyway, Lots of fun things to do though. And then we did some hiking around there and like went out and kind of hiked the dry riverbed and then it filled up yeah. and there was a little stream. It was cool. It was fun. Mm -hmm. I have to say the climate there is crazy for what we expected <laughs> for Southern California because it got cold, it snowed on us, mm -hmm. it rained a bunch. It was hot. I will say we expected there to be snow up in the mountains, but we're mm -hmm. not in the mountains here. This is the base. I mean, it's the foothills, yeah. really. <laughs> so we're down in the canyons. I right. did not expect in Southern California snow. Right. But it snowed like several days in a row, if I recall correctly. <laughs> Especially when you consider when we were here at Labor Day, it was like 110 <laughs> degrees or 102 degrees, something crazy. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah. It was really cool, though. Mm hmm. It's a little bit more primitive park, but it is one of our favorites. Yeah. I love it. So. If you ask us what one of our favorite parks to stay at in Southern California is, when it comes to Thousand Trails, we're gonna say Soledad Canyon. Absolutely. And we know a lot of people who wouldn't agree, but we love it. We love it. So, yeah. If you're into outdoorsy and want to be close to lots of things to do, definitely a place to go. Yes, two big thumbs up from Younger Every Day on that <laughs> one. I really hope you enjoyed our review of Soledad Canyon Thousand Trails RV Resort. If you did, give us a big thumbs up and let us know you liked it. And don't forget to hit subscribe to join the Younger Gang and be part of this awesome community. So, the first Thousand Trails park we ever visited is also our favorite. And we just happen to love sharing it with you. That's just another way we're living younger every day. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.